Think about 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 Welcome to another Think About It. I'm so excited for you to be with us today. Um, our word today uh, might be a word you've never heard. It's whatever must. That's right. Whatever must. Okay, okay. I know that's not a real word, but it serves my purpose. We're about to embark on one of the most exciting days of the year, Christmas. My problem is, we seem to celebrate everything as it relates to Christmas, except what Christmas is about. The birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And because we seem to celebrate everything but Him, Thus the word, whatever must. I'm not so outdone by what the world does. I am concerned about what we do as children of God, what we do as disciples of Christ. Okay, so for the historians, let's get this out of the way. There are many uh, arguments among theologians and historians that December the 25th is not the proper day to celebrate the birth of Christ. I'm, I'm, I'm not here to dictate that because we celebrate 1492 and how sure of that are you? The point is, it is the time frame in which we celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior Christ. We celebrate God in the flesh, Emmanuel, and we celebrate it um, as you know, with a lot of uh, gaiety and, 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 and toys for our children and family coming together, which are beautiful things. The problem is, however, is that we're so willing to give all of the credit to someone we've never met. We give all of the credit to someone that we don't even know exists. It's no secret. Uh, I've said it in the past publicly, and I know people don't like it, but we, we celebrate a guy in a red suit with, with, with a sleigh and, and helpers, and we tell our kids all that he's done for them during that holiday, during that marvelous celebration day. And people say, well, why would you take that joy away from children? Isn't it okay for them to just simply believe whether it's true or not? Here's my problem. Here's why I have a problem with it. We want to X out the one who is celebrating. Society has no problem in Xing out Christ. They have no problem in eliminating Christ from Christmas. And they'll put it up, Xmas. Whatever you want it to be, whatever must. Just celebrate whoever. Celebrate your children, celebrate the guy in the red suit, celebrate his elves, celebrate the sleigh, even celebrate the reindeer. But not the Christ. But not our Christ. As we're reminded that he had an earthly birth, birth, an immaculate conception because it's just being wiped out of Christmas. So it's interesting to me that it's okay for them to wipe out our meaning, but they get offended if we tell children, there's no Santa, or is there a Santa? Or Santa is not real. So we would rather keep the one that isn't real and eliminate the one who is. Aren't there just some things that there ought not be any lines of demarcation? Aren't there some things that we can just simply say to society, you're going too far? Aren't there just some things that we can hold to because it's biblical? Because it comes to us from the word of God? Can we even celebrate our Christ without it being about us? 
without it being about what are we going to get, there's nothing wrong with, with, with giving gifts on Christmas, but do we have to give it and eliminate the very Christ whose birthday we're celebrating? I don't get it. So for the people who get offended because I say, I don't think we should tell our children that they're being blessed by a stranger when they're being blessed by God through Jesus Christ. If they can eliminate my Christ, I can eliminate their Santa. And you know what? I'm not even gonna ask you to think about it.